Good afternoon and welcome to a new edition of Inside Lowell. Welcome to Tea Time. I'm so grateful to have some special guests today, but before we get into that, we would like to welcome you from the Inside Lowell podcast coming to you from the WellPoint Studios. WellPoint, the only health plan offering healthcare benefits exclusively to Massachusetts GIC members at WellPoint, your whole, well, your whole health is their whole point. So I would like to welcome our wonderful guests that I have gotten to know over the years, Mr. Peter Crew and Aaron Duffy from the case department with the city of Lowell. And we are here to talk about a new fun event that we are offering to the community. And we're gonna be here to talk about that today. So Peter, welcome, Aaron, welcome. And this next event is Pumpkins and Pints. So I'm gonna let you take it over, Peter, and you can start first and Aaron, feel free to jump in and we can talk about this wonderful new fun family event that's gonna be happening. Thanks so much, Tanisha, for having us. Uh, yeah, so we are here to talk about Monster Bash uh, coming up on October 26th. Many of you know that's our big annual Halloween uh, downtown activation here in Lowell. And we're really excited this year to add a new element to that uh, that we are calling Pumpkins and Pints. It'll be over at the Enterprise Bank parking lot, uh, 220 Merrimack Street. Um, that's going to be a really cool new uh, new activation that's going to include live music from a lot of local favorite bands, um, Tanisha included, uh, as well as rides for younger kids and um, beer from Navigation Brewery and really tasty food from Wicked Tasty Food. Wait, you said rides? What kind of rides? That's true. There's going to be four, uh, four rides there geared towards kids sort of from the toddlers to sort of the tween age years, uh, also in the lot over there. So there'll be folks for them to do uh, while the older set can enjoy some live music and grab some food and beer and it's gonna be a really good day. Oh, I love that. I didn't realize all this was happening on that day. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, is tea and the gents available? And I'm like, of course we're available. <laughs> I'll check with the guys, but I'll confirm. But just to know that that's something that it's like basically like a fall fair is what it feels right. like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the monster bash, what is that like for folks who may not have been? What would you say the monster bash is like? Yeah. So um, monster bash is an event that we've been doing with the Kiwanis Club for several years now. Um, and I would say, what, 2022, we moved the haunted house to Lowell City Hall. So they overnight transform City Hall into a haunted house. Um, not too spooky, but uh, definitely a little bit of a um, little bit of like jump scares and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we also have the downtown trick or treating uh, with local businesses. We have um, over 35 businesses signed up this year to be trick or treat spots. So oh, that's, that's a awesome. new record, by the way. So yeah. downtown trick or treat spots is that Merrimack Street or is it other streets on the sides as well? Yeah. So we have um, we have a lot of businesses on Merrimack Street. We also have Mill Number Five is participating. We've got places on Market Street, Middle Street, Central. Um, so it really does expand. It really encompasses yeah. all of Lowell yeah. downtown. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm like, mill number five, I'm mm -hmm. like, oh. Because yeah. my kids go to the charter school over there on Jackson, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I that would be a really spooky place. <laughs> <laughs> Just being that old mill building. Yeah. I'm like, it feels spooky in general to and me. And we will but, have yeah. hard copies of the maps of all the trick or treat locations. And mm -hmm. also, if you go online to likelowell.com slash monster bash, there's a digital mm -hmm. copy of the map available as well. All right. We also have translated maps um, or translated flyers, rather, uh, okay. available on likelowell.com. We have translations um, in Spanish, Khmer, and Portuguese. All right, so like com. you said slash monster bash? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. all one word. Monster bash, we're going to recap that later. But yeah, so tell us more about what we can expect for this, because I know we're downtown, 
We have the monster bash. This has been going on, and apparently I'm ignorant to this <laughs> until recently. <laughs> and just so people can know what they can expect, obviously the trick-or-treating, which is awesome for the kids. And then adults now, we have pumpkins and pints, mm -hmm. which is going to be at 220 Merrimack. Yep at the Enterprise Bank parking lot. That's right. So that is the location that was recently where we had Winterfest. That's right, exactly. So in this big square, not too far from us. And what else can people expect? So from Pumpkins and Pints, uh, that venue will open up at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, again, we'll have a stage set up, um, which will feature four really terrific local uh, bands. We'll be kicking things off with everyone's favorite, the party band. Mm -hmm. um, Evan Goudreau will be on at two o'clock. Um, a band you may not have heard of, they're called Tea and the Gents. They'll be on at three. Um, and we'll be closing out the day uh, with Sonic Avionics uh, at four o'clock. Okay. Um, and Navigation will be on site uh, beginning at one o'clock. Uh, to help yourself to local craft beers. Well, beers will be on sale from Navigation beginning at one o'clock. Uh, and food will be on sale from Wicked Tasty also beginning at one o'clock. Um, and while you're vibing and enjoying some music and food, uh, the kids can enjoy some of the rides that will be set up there as well. I love that this one. I'm yeah. like, I'm not a tween, but I don't know. You might be small enough to get <laughs> <laughs> In Navigation Brewing, I was able to meet them um, from an event I did with Henry. Mm -hmm. because they're over at Western Ave. So it sounds like you guys are incorporating a lot of different, you know, local businesses and companies and things like that, because they're obviously not in walking distance, but they're such a great brewery as well. Yeah, exactly. Like all of our events, we really try and use case and city produced events to uplift and really give new opportunities to our local businesses, local artists, local musicians, and really reflect the tremendous amount of talent that we have here in Lowell yeah. um, and use our sort of opportunities to do that. I love that. Erin, I'm going to switch to you. Yeah. Um, How has this been going? And tell me some more about what we can expect. Well, I would love to kind of highlight some of our accessibility efforts with this event. Mm -hmm. Um, so something that we uh, offered during the folk festival that was really popular was um, a family quiet space. So these are spaces intended for um, families with children that need a break, uh, neurodivergent individuals, um, nursing parents, um, basically anybody who needs a break from all the fun and festivities. Right. Um, so we have two of these spaces this year with Monster Bash. We have um, Pollard Memorial Library, which is next to City Hall. Right. Um, the intention with that was kind of if somebody needs a break from the haunted house, they have a space right there to go to. Mm -hmm. um, it's indoors. You can just kind of relax. Right. Um, and then we also have the health department is going to be offering a quiet space at 107 Merrimack Street, which is very close to pumpkins and pints um, mm -hmm. and also is an accessible option if you're just out downtown trick or treating and you need a break. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that because I remember myself being a new mom and ha like even offering a nursing space. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, absolutely. What is going on here? <laughs> and you're trying to finagle and figure out how things are in the spaces that you're in, like airports, yeah. which to me, it's crazy because this my first child was born in what, 2010? And I remember flying in being in an airport and not having space like that. Yeah. And then also, like you mentioned, neurosensitive. So I think that's extremely amazing that that's something that you guys are being able to offer for our community. And then we have the pumpkins at the parish. Tell us about that. Sure. So that's another thing that's brand new this year. Uh, we're really excited. St. Anne's uh, Church right over on Merrimack Street mm -hmm. reached out to us. They uh, they wanted to sort of get involved with all the Monster Bash fun as well. Um, so they're hosting this uh, new event they're calling Pumpkins at the Parish, which will feature a pumpkin sort of decorating contest that afternoon beginning at 2 o'clock, oh, which nice. sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so as you're out and about um, enjoying pumpkins and pines in downtown trick-or-treating, Definitely make right. sure you stop by St. Anne's at 2 o'clock to check that out. So it sounds like a very busy day. 
It's going to be a really busy, really fun day. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. What else can we know about this? Because I know, obviously, T and the gents, I'm a little partial and biased, <laughs> too. So we know T and the gents are performing. We're probably going to have to do some Halloween music, maybe some Thriller, mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. some mm-hmm. MJ. But... um. I would say for myself, because I I can't speak for everyone who's watching, but just to know all the things that you guys are intentionally doing within our case department, within the city of Lowell, I think it's amazing. And I just want to put that out there because obviously we didn't meet today. (laughs) that's a couple days ago maybe two or three days but you know i i really think there's something to be said about that where there's a lot of thought is what i would say that goes into planning Mm -hmm. all of the events that you guys do throughout the year in supporting our community and supporting the needs of the community as well so what brought this idea on to say hey let's expand this even more because I've heard of Monster Bash, but I've never attended myself. But I think sometimes people don't always know what's going on in the city. So what would you say as far as what inspired this? And then also encouraging people to know this is where you can go to find out all of this. Yeah, so I think Monster Bash obviously has been going on for a while now. Um, I think when we moved the haunted house to um city hall two years ago we really were able to tie much closer into sort of downtown and since Mm -hmm. then we've seen a continued sort of increase uh in the businesses and organizations participating in it which has been great um and then just uh sort of as we were talking about our desire to sort of expand and make sure everybody feels that there there's a place for them at these events we want to introduce a new element through pumpkins and pints that would cater to sort of uh the above trick-or-treating age set let's shall we say that uh right. and get those folks involved in well I mean, and really just make sure that it's a day that anybody can come downtown and have a really great time um checking out a lot of really cool activities yeah yeah so for the folks who are watching would you say so this would be considered a free event to attend for mm-hmm. certain things however obviously the food for the food vendors in your pints. <laughs> so the food and the pints you got to pay for, but mm-hmm. just for the kids, for the rides, things like that, is that free Yep, for rides, the community? Trick-or-treating, haunted house, all completely free. Yes. And open to the community. Yeah, that's always great to know because mm-hmm. people will ask, they'll be like, what is the price? How much does this cost me? Mm-hmm. And so is this going to be something that's kind of like how Folk Fest is, where the areas are blocked off, so safety for walking around and things like that? What is the setup for that in terms of the Monster Bash, the Pumpkins and Pints? So I so the difference between this event and Folk Fest is that we will not be closing um, streets to traffic. Mm-hmm. Um, however, we do have police details that will be at pumpkins and pints and um monster bash uh to kind of keep an eye on things and be resources if somebody does have a problem um, right we'll also have crossing guards okay perfect because you know people need to know these things absolutely <laughs> yeah be like so am i gonna get hit no pay attention and just walk <laughs> accordingly <laughs> is there anything else that we need to know about this event yeah so the one other thing that i did want to mention too um is that uh also on october 26th it's the last day to register to vote in massachusetts and it's also an early voting day in lowell so the elections office at city hall will be open if you need to register to vote and or if you want to vote early um, when you're coming down to monster bash or pumpkins and pints feel free to stop by city hall and also vote uh there'll be a separate entrance dedicated just to to people who are coming to do that but so will there be staff there to just help people make sure? Because I know something I saw recently when you speak about voting is where it's like, make sure you're registered and you know Absolutely. where you're going to be. So will that be a resource available? That yeah, day? the elections office will be open. They'll have staff there as well. So okay. certainly if you have any questions about the process or what you need to do, uh, 
definitely take advantage of that and, and spring in there right and, talk and know it. where you need to go exactly that's all the exactly. important <laughs> <laughs> where are you gonna go yeah. i don't know don't wait until <laughs> november <laughs> to find that out but that's such a great resource and i love i i truly love y'all i hope y'all know this i think you know maybe maybe not <laughs> but i um cannot say enough that the case department within our city hall is amazing. The things that you all are doing and working hard and people don't know all the hard work you do. And I'm like, how much sleep did you get last night? <laughs> when I like to just talk trash or just crash the office. But I think it's such a great thing that you guys do in working with the community. And so it, for the those who don't know what case is in the city hall space is culture affairs and special events. So that is the, those encompass all the things that are outside of the folk fest, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Because this is what you guys do cuz you guys do pride now and and then this in the you know in the fall now that you're expanding, you have winter fest you know, and then City of Lights. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I'll be a part of that. We'll be talking <laughs> about that soon too, folks, on our next podcast that I have to co-chair now with Teddy, but we'll go with it. But, you know, just all of the different events that you guys do throughout the years. And I feel like for me, the more I learn on what you do and I see the work it takes and the dedication and the hours <laughs> and the stress and the like, all right, we got to just call an audible and do things. But mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you guys so much. And I don't know if there's anything else that we've missed. I think we've hit all of our points. Yeah, I think we've got everything. And again, yeah, uh, feel free to or definitely check out like lol.com slash Monster Bash for information specifically about Monster Bash. Um, sign up for like Lowell's weekly newsletter if you want to know about all the great things that are happening in Lowell that comes out every Thursday. Right. Um, and we looking forward to seeing you guys on the 26th. Yeah. And you guys also have Facebook. Yes. And Instagram. Definitely. So for those who are not wanting to go on a website, mm -hmm. they can easily see these things because you guys do the, your posts as well. And, Absolutely. We and, have, oh, sorry. Erin yeah, <laughs> um, is the one. <laughs> um, so our Facebook page is like Lowell um, mm -hmm. and two words like Lowell. Um, and then our Instagram handle is like Lowell MA. Um, so people should definitely follow us on there. Check us out. Um, we post about all different happenings in Lowell, not even just events that we produce. We post about mm -hmm. a lot of different cultural and special right. event happenings. So. Right, right. So you heard it here, folks. <laughs> we are here with our people from our case department with City Hall, like Lowell.com slash Monster Bash. We want you to show up. We want you to be a part of our event this this month, but also just for, you know, purposes of if you're on social media, like Lowell and then like Lowell MA on Instagram. But thank you so much, Aaron and Peter. We appreciate you. We love the work that you're doing with the city. Mm -hmm. T and the gents will also be there. Shameless pug. But you know, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be jamming out and we're gonna celebrate this holiday season upcoming. Pumpkins and pints, monster bash. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you and we wanna continue to serve our community. This has been another episode of Inside Lowell with Tea Time and have a wonderful rest of your day and weekend and have a safe weekend and also shout out to our indigenous people's weekend that's coming up so we want to just mention that as well but have a wonderful day thank you so much <laughs>